All right, guys, if you're out in the uh, northeast and parts of the west coast, uh, it is brutally hot outside. Uh, it's like in the high 90s, uh, close to 100 out here, and it's uh, about 6, 6.30 uh, p.m. Uh, but we had some crazy rain out here uh, about two days ago. Uh, so I wanted to just see, you know, how things looked. And uh, you could tell that uh, the ground moved. Uh, looks like kind of like a plow went through. Uh, I can't show you at the moment. But yeah, anyways, uh, let me show you uh, in the next clip uh, what I see on the surface uh, right by the dump site. So stay tuned. All right, so as you can see, like right here, like that's all from the rain flooded just kind of moved all I don't think you can kind of see it but yeah it looks like it, like deer paths and stuff but that's rain there's a, there's a nice cutout right there so uh, we might get to digging detecting mudlarking but uh, yeah it's another capers bottle I'm hoping it's whole so let me get uh, my stuff Oops, sorry let me get uh, my stuff and uh, we'll get boom to boom it's whole folks I think this is like my fourth complete one out of here um, but uh, as you can see, um, I did some digging uh, a couple weeks ago, so this is what it looks like. You can see if there, there's a broken one over there. We have all kinds of goodies, so we might get to dig. All right, just got this cute little bottle right here, embossed, everything. Um, I was just over there. I found a broken cool bottle over there, and I'm just kind of walking around, and then boom. Money oils, homeopathic home remedies. Sweet! Awesome. Let's keep on going. Oh yeah, my first inkwell. Uh, so yeah, I'm just scraping around here. Uh, there's gotta be all kinds of stuff here. Look, just look at all the broken goodness, unfortunately. So, just gotta keep digging. And there's a bone. So yeah, there's definitely good stuff. All right, here. we got something long in the hole. Uh, let's see if it's whole. it's whole. I saw that and I thought it was the cat to a milk bottle, but look at that puppy. It's got all kinds of bugs on it, so we're just gonna let that sit. But damn, what is that, whiskey? Ooh. All right, I saw that one over here, and as I was digging it out, got other capers. It's a hole. Oh, a beautiful small one. All right, let's uh, get this one out and uh, see what else is around. All right, there's something intersecting it here. I'm hoping it's complete too, so let me just... Oh no, this one's broken, so let me get... All right, it might be another uh, big whiskey or whatever it was, so I might not film too much since it's so hot and I just wanna dig so I can find some more things and then get out into the, uh, back into the cool. So just right. pulled this out when I was trying, while well, I'm still trying to get uh, that one out. It's got a nice little fancy over there. All right, All right so here's the one uh, that was right over there. Uh, I got another something small, then I got another one of those, but I'm really sweating out here. So we'll see how much longer I last. All right, it's uh, part two uh, to my dump digging. Uh, <clears throat> uh, in the heat wave, yeah, sorry, it's early in the morning uh, before the heat comes, but uh, just found this one it's a little chip right there in the lip but everywhere else it's good and it says uh, cartons hp sauce so pretty cool unfortunately little chip we'll all right we got another bottle in the hole um the tall bottles skinny ones from last week i uh, found out were olive oil uh, this looks like it actually has like a kind of a green tinge to the bottle so uh, maybe we got uh, something different so uh stay tuned right, we got it out <clears throat> uh, excuse me maybe a beer bottle or something like that uh, we got another brown bottle uh, right there not sure if it's complete but we'll uh beautiful see. little medicine bottle maybe that just popped up it's slick they're very small love it all right it's my first cobalt blue bottle i'm hoping it's i don't know bromo seltzer or something looks like it says bromo seltzer up there awesome intact beautiful awesome find I knew there had to be a stopper somewhere in there. My first tug stopper. Looks like there's something right there. Oh, I might say uh, Gartens, which is HP sauce, which uh, I have a bottle of, oops, sorry. Uh, uh, bye bye apartment, so you'll see them in the wrap up. All right, everyone, we are back, we are back. Uh, if you are in the Northeast, and hey, even if you're in uh, parts of uh, Europe, I hope you're staying cool. Uh, the heat wave has broken here in the Northeast. I actually uh, went out today in the last clips uh, over here were uh, actually from today uh, so yeah pretty good stuff and as you can see I had a great couple of hunts the first time uh, excuse me I found actually 11 bottles and then a couple bottles the next time I went out and then uh, the little bromo, bromo seltzer bottle uh, but anyways let me get up to the wrap-up again apologize if you hear traffic it is rush hour here in the Northeast uh, in Bergen County New Jersey uh, right behind me, 
over there is a relatively main, main street with the, the highway and stuff around. So apologize again if you hear uh, noises of cars and stuff like that. I'll try and be as loud as I can. Uh, I'm using AirPods for whatever they are worth. Um, the bottles are not clean yet, as you can see. Uh, so uh, they don't look as beautiful as they will eventually. <clears throat> Uh, excuse me, maybe I'll do a uh, follow-up video eventually uh, on all the cleaned up bottles. But anyways, let's get to it real quick. Uh, we've got these two back here. Uh, you've seen them before. They are keeper bottles. Uh, it's cool to have different sizes. Uh, and look at this one, it's kind of uh, off-centered. It's not really straight, kind of leaning. So uh, yeah, pretty cool to see that it's not you know, perfect like bottles are today. Um, and then to the left of them over here, we've got just medicine bottles, uh, we call them slick when they don't have any embossing or anything like that. Uh, we, uh, I mean the uh, bottle diggers and bottle collectors, but yeah, really nice medicine, slick. Uh, yeah, these are all cork tops, you can tell by the top. Uh, that usually gives you an indication that these are older bottles. Uh, yeah, back there are my makus uh, and uh, my stuff. Yeah, I just got back, so just emptying out my bag and cleaning it up. But uh, anyways, uh, we got those and then the four back here are actually olive oil so really cool thin bottle uh, one of them unfortunately is broken in the back so we'll have to toss one but three complete ones is a great find um, and then back here as i thought as i thought i saw some sorry as i thought it's some sort of beer or wine bottle uh, i have a brown one that i found uh, a few months back one of the first bottles i found there uh, this one kind of has a green blue tinge to it really nice this is going to should tint up nice i'm hoping um and then in the front we got either a carton carters sorry or sand for inkwell uh, my first inkwell so as it sounds the ink would have been in here and then you take your pen uh, or i guess your feather uh, and you dip it in and then you would uh, write your uh, whatever you were writing um, and then here some sort of uh, cologne or powder or something uh, bathroom related, facial related, or related, uh, you know, cosmetic related. Uh, looks like it actually had a label right there. So pretty cool. I'll try and clean it up uh, a little, cl a little more careful to see. I mean, obviously we're not going to get anything there, but just to see if there's something else on that label. Let's see, any other slick ones? Uh, no other slick ones, and now we will get to the embossing ones. Oh no, this is a slick one. Uh, so this is just another medicine bottle, uh, just a smaller version. Uh, these are the two common uh, shapes for medicine bottles, or you know, these are similar shapes. These three, I would consider them kind of similar shapes, and uh, they are all medicine. So the third one is Munyan's Homeopathic Home Remedies, um, and this was started by a man named James M. Munyon in the uh, late 1800s. Um, he actually got uh, in trouble and was sued for claiming things that were not actually true uh, for his products, so he actually had to change it to homeopath homeopathic remedies. Um, and uh, just a fun fact about him, he started uh, Hotel Hygieia uh, on an island that he bought in Florida. It uh, lasted about 15 years or 20 years before it burned down. Uh, but it was kind of like a uh, spa for the rich in uh, the Palm Beach area. So pretty cool. Um, and then we will do these two. The My first Doug bottle stopper. And it says Gartens. Uh, and it's related to what's back here. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, it says Gartens HP Sauce. So this would be just like that. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. So that's exactly how it would go. And I knew there had to be stopper uh, somewhere down there uh, but Gartens was uh, HP sauce which uh, was a brown sauce uh, it was started uh, in the 1890s by a man named Frederick Gibson Garten um, and he called it HP sauce because he heard that uh, the House of Parliament was actually using a similar uh, kind of sauce so he called it HP sauce uh, and he actually owed a debt to the, uh, I think the his vinegar supplier, so he actually had to sell it to them in 1899, uh, but they kept the name for a few years after that, so again, all these are 1890s to early 1900s, all 
making sense to everything else that I'm finding. Um, and then last but hopefully not least, let that car go by. Um, is this beauty. I mean, as you can see, most of them are clear. We got those beautiful green emerald bottles. The capers, we got a brown beer bottle similar to that. Uh, most of them are clear, so, or you know, like a light blue. But this is a cobalt blue, beautiful, beautiful. My first prom promo seltzer bottle, uh, complete, as you can see right there. Promo seltzer, Emerson Drug Company, Baltimore, Maryland. This was started uh, in the 1880s, about 1888, by a man named Isaac Emerson in uh, Baltimore, Maryland, acetic acid. That was eventually banned in 1975 because uh, it was shown to be too toxic. I don't know if it became too toxic for the levels or if it was just toxic enough. But yeah, it was banned in 1975. So really, really cool. This is uh, fine for me. This is a beautiful find for my collection. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, pick up some trash when you're out there. Beep, beep.